y'all it is i want to say 7 15 in the morning so we're just gonna do this get ready with me video because i haven't posted in like i don't know it's been a week so yeah oh my god oh the way i've been feeling i have not been wanting to get in front of a camera i have not been wanting to record videos or anything because i've just been so stressed it's like school is like a lot so i have not been doing youtube i haven't been doing tiktok videos anything like i have had a lack of motivation for the past week so ciao consistency is the key so i'm trying to get back consistent with youtube today is my short day so i have like one class thankfully then i have work at like <laughs> i just forgot i have work at like 12 30 today so i don't have a lot of things to do i just have a couple of things to do and the class that i have to go to is a lab so i really won't even be in there that long it's um a physics lab let's get ready with me video i'm just gonna give you guys a little talk about self-love figured why not talk about um love so a lot of people don't understand that self-love is so important or why it's very important and the, a lot of the reason why self-love is so important is because it influences how you allow people to treat you and how you allow yourself to be treated um one of the main important things for me about self-love is like having it allows you to have a certain level of respect for yourself. Um, and when you love yourself, you respect uh, yourself more than you would if you didn't have love for yourself. What I mean by that is um, respect for yourself. Like, okay, I'm not going to let this person speak to me that way or I'm not going to allow myself to go unheard like you. If something makes me uncomfortable because my feelings matter to me and how I feel in certain situations is not going to be unheard. You know, like I'm not going to allow people to make me feel uncomfortable. I'm not going to allow myself to feel uncomfortable because I love myself and I have that level of respect for myself. A lot of people don't know that. And, you know, some people think, oh, it's about the materialistic things. And it's about like having nice things, feeling nice. And that's that's a part of it. But love is not a materialistic thing in itself. So that's something you have to really, really take into account. Another thing about self-love, the importance of self-love is it allows you to know your self-worth. So it kind of goes hand in hand with having a level of respect for yourself. Knowing your worth, what I mean by that is I don't mean monetary things. I mean like you know and you value yourself like you are worth something you mean something in this world and your opinion matters and how you feel what you think what you believe your morals if you love yourself you know i matter i deserve to be respected you know what you deserve from others so like you deserve to to be treated correctly you deserve to be respected you deserve to be spoken to and not spoken at and you understand the difference between someone um respecting you and someone disrespecting you and you don't disregard how someone makes you feel even if it is disrespectful like um or respectful you know like you love when you love yourself it's easier to know like i don't deserve this or know that i'm not going to accept this because you know how much of a good person you are like when you emulate a good person and you are good to other people you don't want to accept anything less than that and that's why you know like self-love is really important because when you do have self-love for yourself you're not going to just go around and let people like give you the bare minimum and you give them 110 percent with everything that you do um yeah for me personally, I just cut people off. Like, if people do not respect me or treat me correctly, I just cut them off. Because there's no point in being cool with somebody that you pour more into than you get more from. And you shouldn't give and expect to receive, but at the same time, you shouldn't accept less than what you give. 
if that makes sense. Another reason why self-love is important is because uh, not only does it allow you to expect more from those around you, it also allows you to uh, set healthy boundaries between people. You have to train people on how to treat you. Like, uh, a lot of people, they might not like you, but at the same time, if you set boundaries like, hey, I don't like when you do this, or hey, I will not tolerate this, and they, you know, disrespect your boundaries, then that's well, uh, a well enough reason to not deal with those people like you have to also set boundaries like healthy boundaries like if something upsets you or something you're not comfortable with something you need to say that to those around you so that they can understand how you operate as a friend or as someone that you're with like you can't just expect people to know how you want to be treated but if you set the tone and you say like i'm not okay with this i don't mind this or I don't want you calling me past this hour, and stuff like that, then people will have to respect it. And if they don't, they're just gonna have to move around. Simple. <laughs> My last point on why self-love is important would be because when you have self-love, you really strive to protect your peace. Um, when you're protecting your peace, you are ultimately being a little selfish, you know? And it's okay to be selfish because your mental health matters just as the next person's does. So like if something is not going in your favor or something bothers you to the point where it's ruining your entire day, that's something that needs to be addressed. Like you can't just ignore how you feel to appease to the feelings of others. Like you're trying to appease to other people's feelings but if you love yourself, you're going to think about yourself too in that situation and find some type of happy medium. And sometimes it's not, there's no happy medium between your happiness and somebody else's. Like somebody's always going to be mad at the end of the day. Somebody's always going to be um, not on board with how you are as a person or how the decision that you choose for yourself. But at the end of the day, your happiness is ultimately the end all be all you are you and they are them they're gonna have to either get with it or get around you know your happiness should matter more to you than it should to someone else so my point with that is if no one's gonna fight for your happiness you should be fighting for your happiness because you have the control of how you're gonna feel for the day and if you allow people to get under your skin that easily or you don't do things to change your surroundings to keep you from feeling like your day is completely ruined then that's something that needs to be addressed like you have to take into account okay i love myself what can i do to make myself more comfortable how can i protect my peace in this situation and if that means removing people if that means taking a break from some people then that's exactly what you're going to have to do because you matter your feelings matter and you need to take care of your feelings and protect your feelings. Simple.